Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, says the federal government is set to prosecute 400 suspects arrested for allegedly funding terrorism in the country. He stated this during a press conference in Lagos. Ademola Lawrence reports. Most part of Nigeria is now being threatened by worsening security is no longer news. What is of interest is that apart from constant media condemnation of attacks and killings by the government, actual step is about to begin in uprooting terrorism from the land. Part of what government is doing to convince the people that it's serious to end the surge of insecurity is identifying, arresting and prosecuting those who fund the criminals. The Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice has announced that the federal government is set to prosecute 400 suspects arrested for allegedly funding terrorism. This is unprecedented and it's a testament to the government's determination to decisively tackle terrorism and other violent crimes. The minister also appealed to the media organizations not to support secessionist statement. I'm therefore appealing to the media to play its part in dousing the pervasive tension, lending your platforms to uncompromising separatists and die-hard pessimists about the survival of our nation can only overheat the polity. Recent announcement on COVID-19 guidelines by the presidential tax force seems to have been misunderstood. The minister clears the air. New restrictions. Unfortunately, this thing has been reported out of context. What happened was that the presidential steering committee on COVID-19 met and we revised I mean, we, we, we embark what we call the fourth phase of the ease of restriction. And what we did really is more to remind people of the extant regulations. Past few months have seen a widespread of acts that are not just violent, but terror related from all parts of the country. This is therefore time for government to act urgently and decisively before the country is overrun by terror. Ademola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos.